So do you ever like make it try to make a landscape in the event and you a good like 20 minutes just scrolling around with the tools and eventually you get to like this. Or it's like <laughs> a little mountains and it's just like it's the same thing. It looks kind of boring, doesn't it? And you're probably wondering like, what the hell am I doing wrong here? Why can't I make this look nice? So you spend another 20 hours just, just messing around with all these little tools up here, like with all these noise tools and everything, you still can't do anything. Well, I'll tell you what you're doing wrong in these five tips and tricks. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. So my first tip is to sometimes you gotta not rely on the landscape tools and you gotta rely on the classic good old rock props that were in the first creative. So if you go into here, and switch up in uh like this cause all this go to fortnite these the modular rocks these stuff right here these oh boy look at these now you take them out as you can see they're pretty unique they uh go quite well with the, the rocks here so what you can do with these is as you can already tell you can do a lot you can add depth really easy depth really quickly and remember try not to use try to use the same rock as much as possible to save memory, all right? That's a little tip for you. But if I just like, you know, put these around the place, like this and this and this, you can add so much more to your cliffs. You can also make your, make like different like shapes that, you, that would be impossible to make in like, in, in, in the landscape that are like overhangs. This is like this, do like a little overhang like that. All right, I did a bit of mining off camera, but as you can see, there's a, as you can see, it adds so much more variation to the clip. Like, it already looks so much better. And I use some of uh, these, uh, these, like, little pillar ones. Put them in there. You get, like, more sheer clips. You also have flat tops as well, so you can, like, you, they're good for, like, more gameplay elements. But well, these are more for, like, looks. If you want to get a nice cliff, use these. If you want to do some player stuff where they walk around, you put them, use these ones. That's my first tip. Alright, let's move on to the next tip. Now, this seems pretty obvious, but you want to add foliage, okay? Foliage. I don't want to fully like get a tree, okay? Make sure not to use more than maybe two trees on your map because I'm gonna use this tree and I'm probably gonna grab another tree, maybe uh, maybe this tree right here, the smaller one. So you don't really want to use like too many trees because they're the trees take up like like thousands of memory of it. And if you have too many variations, your memory's gonna be gone like so fast, you have no idea. You, 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 just, you just have no idea. So all you wanna do is just, you know, put trees around, make it look nice. Maybe add some variation to the trees, like make them, like, 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 size them up so they look like this, or stretch them out a bit. So yeah, let me just do this right now, show, show you what it looks like. Alright, so I added some trees to this little, like, I don't know, this is, it's like this little cliff thing. <laughs> I put some trees around the place, it looks quite nice. It looks, it looks so much better. But we're not done with foliage just yet. There's trees, but there's also another thing you gotta get on for. It's also bushes. So if you wanna grow a bush, uh, I prefer see these things called big bushes. Big, like these really big ones. If you like size them up, and like do this, and put them in the ground, you get like these nice like little like strokes. So you just place these around. Let me just go do this. Oh wow, look at that. So as you can see, I don't have a got a lot of stuff to the to the, the scene right here. Oh, so these bushes are cool and all, but we add a bit more pizzazz, you know? So, uh, we're just gonna ignore all that for now. Uh, we're just gonna focus on like, in this direction. <laughs> so, the next tip is background, right? Okay? So if you want to make this look cooler, like this little hill here isn't enough, right? If you want to make this really look like a mountainside. I'd say you want to make a background, okay? So you make a background. How do you make a background? There's, there's a few ways. First is to get the actual backgrounds. You find these things, which are um, actual backgrounds. So what you do is scale them up really big, and boom, you have a background. Now uh, this is obviously um, uh, this doesn't look very good because this is more for like over here, like all the way over there. This move like really far away. How do you make something closer up? Well. I know exactly how. <laughs> you just get the modular rocks again, okay? Just, just grab the same modular rock you got earlier. I believe uh, this is the one. You see? Now, you can scale these up, okay? And now it's really big. You can put these in the background like this. The one there. Even like the trees earlier, you can like add some variation. So you, all, the mountains don't look the same. They all look different. No, so it's, it's, it's way better. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> it doesn't have that nice transition. 
to uh, from the grass to like the background. So to add that, we're gonna do the same trick here with these rocks. I'm gonna add another rock over here. So let me do that. Okay. So as you can see, I've added a bit more rocks around the place, and they add like a nice little transition. Now, to make this like even even better, you wanna apply the second tip, which was foliage. So we'll add a bunch of foliage on all of these mountains. Now, all right, here we go. I've added a bunch of trees everywhere, a bit of bushes, and you can see it's it's really starting to come together. It looks quite nice. But we're not done yet, all right. We've also got a, what we can also do here is we can add some visual effects and also some sound effects. So how do we do that? Let me show you. Okay, let's start off with some VFX. So we're going to do this pretty simple. We're just going to use the, the, the VFX spawner. Original Fortnite Creative, not uh, the Niagara effects. Just because for simplicity's sake. And go into go into the settings and the details of the VFX spawner. And go into, go into visual effect. And go all the way down to leaves. So we're going to add some nice little leaves to our scene. Mm, look how nice these leaves look. See the sound effect? I'll make that none for now, okay? And you can also colorize it, so you can change the color. So we're gonna make it like a nice dark green. So we've got some leaves going. Now here's a little tip: you can actually you can resize it. Don't make it too big, because the leaves will uh they'll be a bit uh too spread out. But you can, like just resize it to how many leaves you want per like little spawner. What you can do is uh, then spread these spawners around the place. I've got a nice nice little leaves falling everywhere. And now what do we do next? Oh, sound effects. So you can click on any of these spawners and go into sound effect. And, he, and Alpine Evening, Alpine, Alpine Evening, Alpine Morning. This all, these are all wind, okay? The nice ambient wind effects. So you want like a nice like chill, like you know, like mountains, mountain, mountain packs. You want to put on any of these, any of your liking. I want to put on Alpine Morning because I feel like it. <laughs> so yeah. Now we have some beautiful, beautiful sound effects now you can't really hear them because we're, we're in unreal so let me just hop into the game all right here we are in game as you can see it looks very very nice the uh the bees are all blowing and i don't know what's happening up there but yeah. you can hear the wind uh, it's relaxing how could we improve this you're probably wondering well i'll tell you all right this is not, this is going to sound stupid, old one. The last tip, adding more life to this little mountain, is to add some story. All right. I know you want to story, yeah. <laughs> okay. But listen, listen up close. You can really change some things, like, you know, something by, by changing the story of it, you know? So let's add some story, all right. I don't know. Well, what's going to be the story of this place? You've got to come up with something. I'm going to say this is like a. A little camp right here, okay. Here's Timmy again, okay. This is Timmy's camp. So yeah, so Timmy lives in this old little mountain range. He doesn't live here, he's camping here. So how can we add to this little mountain range to make it a little bit more exciting? Well well well. Let's say this place is a hiking trail, okay? All you can do is you can add like, I don't know, a zip line. So this is a little tutorial for a zip line for you. Grab one of these, like little zipline posts. Let's say we can put the end of the zipline down here, so you can zip up. How do you make a zipline? Well, you got one of these. I'll make a little like a line thing, okay? A big line. Now, since there's little like dots at the end of them, you can actually grab those. If you unclip the thing and just grab them, then you can move it around. So you can change the spline of the zipline. So if you just move this little white dot up to our other point, there we go. Perfectly lined up. <laughs> so yeah, we now have a nice little zipline. You can also add a little bit like uh, a little bit to it. If you uh, click on it, you find like the middle point. Where is it? There it is. Right here. And you can move this down. So you now have a little like curve. It makes a little curve now. But anyways. How do we add a bit more story? So this is the camping trailer, right? So what we can do, you go into landscape. And another little thing you can do is painting, okay? So let's make a little trail. We're gonna grab one of these little painting lines. And we're going to paint a little trail along the road. <laughs> a little, little trail, you know? <laughs> Wherever we draw this, you'll see it does this. It might, it might take a little bit long to uh, load. It depends on your computer, but you can make a little path. Effect. So we'll have a little trail going up to that little zip line right there. I'll we'll have a little, little little pass going down this way. Heads up down this way, you know. 
can see them out inside. I was just like, it's kind of curves up to that level. Let's ignore that. You know, you can, you can add a little story. This is not a mountain pass. There's no, it's a little nature park, you know? So how did it all come from? So, anyway, so, you know, let's see it's, it's a campground now. It had a, a little car park right here. How do we add a car park? You're probably wondering. Well, go back into landscape. Do the same thing we did for the road. We grab this thing right here, this, this layer. Just draw a little car park. It should make a little road. See? Boom! The car park. This. Oh my god. Hopefully, <laughs> somebody got a car park and actually make the thing. But anyways, you can add some trees and such. You can you can do all of it. It's just like a little like you know, it's a little story. You know, it's a little story you gotta make. You gotta make a little little lore or whatever. If you add lore to your thing, you have so much more. You'll add so much for life. So you can kind of like since this car's here and like this little trail, so you can presume that car's will be Timmy's car. You know. So yeah, it adds so much more life. It's it's really it's really simple trick, but it's it's very very important if you want to make it so it's a lot more exciting. So yeah, that's about it for landscapes or making making a little like you know mountain landscape. I might I might do other landscapes like you know like a desert or like a jungle or like anything else really. So yeah, that's how you do this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. Remember to uh, subscribe to the videos. Hope you enjoyed my video. I'll see you with the next one.